A 30-point win for UCLA over Norfolk State. Don, they're going to go to Las Vegas to face some ranked competition at 3-0. and Yeah, and I think a good start. First three games, there's obviously some things to work on. The young guys need to come along. But I think the story for me here after these first three games is Jalen Clark and the jump he's made. We knew about the defense, but just even more affecting the game and the offense that he's generating. I don't think anybody saw it to this level. We knew he'd be better. But he's the biggest surprise to the upside for this UCLA team. Uh, he and the Bruins absolutely tore it from behind the arc. These numbers probably aren't sustainable, but they are enjoyable. Yeah, they are. And, and I do think they'll be better than they were last year from behind the line um, because Jalen Clark's gotten better. Hawkins will shoot it better than he did last year. And I think that's going to be a big key for this UCLA team, JB, is as the season goes along, can they have nights where they really get it going from behind the line to go along with what we expect to be a very, very good defense? So we knew the top end of the roster was good. The seniors, reliable, proven. Jalen Clark has taken a quantum leap. The other piece, the freshmen. I think we learned a lot more about several of them tonight. Yeah, and, and you're not gonna, it's not going to be just all of a sudden the light bulb goes on and wow, look how much better they are. It's going to be incremental as the season goes along. The good news is Bonus stayed on the floor tonight, didn't get in foul trouble. I thought Amari Bailey made some great decisions tonight. Couple catch and shoot, made some plays for others. So all you need, if you're Mick Cronin and staff, is for them to keep growing throughout the year so that by the time you're going into the NCAA tournament, they're where they need to be. Three wins in eight days to start the year for UCLA. Cannot wait to see what it looks like in Las Vegas against top 25 competition.